Hi guys, thanks for clicking on my video. My name is Micah. I am a stay-at-home mom who lives in Northwest Nevada with my wonderful husband, Ryan, my fantastic six-year-old, Sean, and our snoring and sleepy little rescue, Sesame. Um, before I get too far into this, I hope you will give me a like and subscribe and hit that little bell so you can get notified when I send out new content. So, I have been watching a lot of those pantry no spend challenges over the last few months and I've just been inspired by them because they're just wonderful videos to watch but I haven't had the time or the energy this year to focus on them. Um, it's been a crazy year for us between the medical and the surgeries and you know the um, tutoring and just life in general we've been on trips and whatnot but at the same time I kept growing the stockpile that I started to create during the pandemic because I felt like there was this there's going to come a time when we were going to be um, relying on that stockpile and I I feel that coming right now with price increases the inflation uh, seeing my shelves start to get a little bare. I know it's about time that I'm going to start living off of that stockpile. And I feel like this is the time for me to start a challenge like this. I recently tried to get into my freezer and realized that I have no space in my freezer. And I had to start pulling things out that um, didn't, not that they didn't belong there. They just didn't need to be in there at the time. Like, you know, the ice packs and whatnot. And... Now that school is coming to an end and I can, can see this light at the end of my tunnel where I would have the time and the energy to focus on doing a pantry challenge, I felt like it was time to do one, but I wanted to change the parameters of it. Um, I know that I have so much food I could last for several months on just that, but I still want to make sure that my family has access to some of the fresh ingredients like um, bread, produce, milk, that sort of thing. And so I'm trying to do a different type of a challenge where I only spend $30 a week at the store on produce, deli and dairy, and um, bread items so that I can try and eat through our stockpile, try and use what I have so it doesn't go to waste because I, I hate wasting food. I think it's a waste of my time and my money to waste food and I want to be able to use it. I think it's time. So I hope you'll join me on this journey as I go through and let me show you my pantry and fridge and whatnot and then we'll get into the meals. So see you soon. Dinner tonight on Sunday is extra thick ribeyes. You can see they're really thick. Um, oven roasted zucchini and this is a um, cornbread I made out of cornbread and cake mix so and we still have a lot of steak I don't know if you can tell that's my hand that's the steak they're massive steaks so that's dinner it is Tuesday breakfast I am having yogurt with homemade this is greek yogurt with homemade granola um just a vanilla almond granola and fresh pineapple um and then over here sean's already working on his breakfast i got a phone call so i was on the phone um, because it's the last week of school he is having cinnamon toast crunch for breakfast because that's just a special treat to have and cinnamon also toast crunch hang on <laughs> and watermelon um, normally he has to have a healthy, quote unquote healthy breakfast, but I decided to let him have one of his special ones, um, because it's the last week of school. It is Tuesday morning. I've packed Sean's lunch for school. Um, it's the first day back from Memorial Day and it's supposed to be their last week of school. They actually have two extra days um, for contingency purposes. So um, we have six days left. Um, I packed him, of course, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich in the shape of a star. It's, um, and then a little one here. 
I like to do this with cookie cutters. Um, I did stars because it's the end of the school year and I thought that would be a celebration. Carrot sticks, um, grapes. I had one of these mini um, Rice Krispie treats left over. And then um, a Kit Kat, one of the fun size Kit Kat bars um, that I broke in half for him. So that's lunch along with his water bottle. So that's lunch. I am getting ready for my lunch today on Tuesday. I am having um, chicken salad sandwich on a croissant with romaine lettuce and because I felt like it I'm having some cakey cornbread and um, and I went to Starbucks and got one of their chocolate cream cold brews. I'll finish that and then switch to water but that is lunch for today on Tuesday. So <clears throat> even though it's really hot, well, it's not hot, it's just warm today. Um, because we have that cornbread left over and I already had the ground beef thawed, I decided to just do a quick chili. Um, I have it in my crock pot. <clears throat> I have it on low right now, it'll get going. I just browned some ground beef. I have a can of pinto beans, a can of black beans, a can of um, diced red tomatoes. Oh, sorry, diced tomatoes in here. Um, I diced up a red pepper, red bell pepper. I put in an onion, just a yellow onion. And um, I took the, the rest of our zucchini um, from last night's dinner. I just did a rough chop to it, threw it in here, um, added a <clears throat> um, about a can of water, just used one of the cans as water. And then I added one of these. I forgot I had these, but this is perfect. Um, just to do a simple chili for dinner. And this will help, this will stretch through tomorrow night as well for us. So that's dinner for tonight. And so it's like not even 12 o'clock yet. So this will be ready by 5 o'clock tonight. Dinner tonight is chili. I've got my um, cornbread underneath of it. And salad with some iced tea. That's dinner. And breakfast on Wednesday. I am doing um, yogurt with granola and I decided to throw in the watermelon and pineapple together because we aren't going through um, the watermelon very fast and I want to get that <coughs> eaten. Uh, bless you. <coughs> bless you. And then Sean is doing um, watermelon. We have milk for his cereal and and of everything he could have, he asked for oatmeal with um, dinosaur eggs. This is the um, Quaker oatmeal, dinosaur egg oatmeal um, that he really likes. So that's breakfast for us today. All right, it is June 1st. I just got back from the store and I want to show you my haul. Um, I'm working on, you know, my goal is $30 a week for groceries. So let me show you what I got. Um, the grapes were on sale this week for 99 cents per pound. I had one, about just over one and a half pounds. It was $1.62. Um, I had the petite cherry tomatoes were, let's see, $3.49. Um, the others were $3.99 per container, and I need those for this week, so $3.49 isn't bad for those. Um, the whole milk yogurt is three fifty nine. Um, no, not three fifty nine. Yes, no. There it is. Four ninety nine. Sorry, four ninety nine. I really like this. I like the whole milk. I like the strain on this. Um, it's really. This has actually become one of my favorite things to have in the morning. Um, the the milk gallon of milk was $3.59. It's the cheapest milk I've been able to find anywhere is their milk, um, this Mountain Dairy brand that we can only get at Smith's. Um, coleslaw. The coleslaw was $1.79 and this is what's really interesting. Um, I actually went to grab the Kroger brand first and I saw that theirs was $1.99 for the same size. This is 14 ounces. So it's $1.99 um, for the Kroger brand, and the Dole brand was um, $1.79. So I got that one instead. <clears throat> um, 
All right, so the celery was $1.89 for one bunch of celery. I got two cucumbers. They were 50 cents each, so a dollar for those. Um, these, it says on here, these are mini croissants, all butter mini croissants. They were originally $4.99. I got them for $3.99. Those will be good for lunches this coming week. Um, this Good Belly, I actually had somebody tell me that this, um, I suffer from GERD, and they said that this stuff, um, just about two ounces in the morning and two ounces in the evening helps um, keep their GERD down. They said it took a little while for it to start working, but um, they're happy that they started doing that. And this was $3.29 um, for, I think it's like a quart, it looks like. Um, yeah, about a quart of um, that. Um, I know I'm not supposed to be getting anything to stock up with, but after making that chili, I decided to stock up. And their beans were on sale, um, or on discount. So they were 79 cents each for each of the four um, beans. And then this was 89 cents for diced grain chilies. I normally put this in my chili and I didn't have it to put in there. So I had to pick some up. And then their ice cream. Uh, my husband had asked recently if we had any and we didn't have any. These were two for five, so I got cookies and cream and mint chocolate chip. This is my son's favorite ice cream is mint chocolate chip. I like cookies and cream. I know my husband likes it too. Um, he also likes this. We all, those are the two that we like the most. So I thought that would be good for us. Um, mini marshmallows were, let's see, $1.19 for a bag of marshmallows. I was actually looking for um, the they used to have these little bits, marshmallow bits, like you get in hot chocolate, but you can get them in a canister, and I couldn't find any. I don't know if they discontinued them, but I wanted to put those into some treats that we're doing and some projects that we're working on this summer. And then just a little um, six-ounce summer sausage. This was um, $3.99, and that's because I'm doing... Um, I'm making a salad, and I'm going to need some, and I thought my husband would like to have some as well. Um, just to have as a snack on the side. So my total, here's my receipt. You can see um, my total down here was well, $39.88. Um, I say $4.54, which isn't big, but I, I would say like $10 over when I'm used to spending about $90 to $100 minimum. Um, $40 is not bad at all. So this is all I needed for this week. I wanted a cantaloupe, but they were totally out of cantaloupe. So um, that might have to be another video later. So anyway, this is it. Sean's lunch for today is um, cinnamon um, sugar Eggo mini toasts. He loves these. We do these every Wednesday. Um, a mini rice crispy treat. I actually found I have a few more of those. A Kit Kat bar that's broken up, one of the fun size ones. Um, some carrot sticks and some grapes. And then of course his little bottle of water. Um, it has ice in it to keep it cold all day. And then I am gonna eat one of these. Hit me with a thumbs up if you have tried these lemon crisp ones and if you like them because I love them. So anyway, that's his lunch for today on Wednesday. My lunch today on Wednesday is the same as yesterday, just a chicken salad croissant with lettuce and a pineapple sparkling water. That's lunch. Tonight's dinner is leftover chili and I have cornbread under here. And then we have salad, leftover salad and um, and I'm having iced tea, Sean's having milk, and that's it. Dinner tonight. I decided to change it up for breakfast today on Thursday. Um, I'm going to have life cereal. Um, I'll put milk in it in just a little bit. And this is the last of the pineapple along with some watermelon underneath. Um, Sean wanted oatmeal again today, so he's having oatmeal with dinosaur eggs. That's what these little things are you can see um, and then I he wanted he's having watermelon for breakfast and again 
as soon as I'm done, I'll get us some milk and then my coffee. And that's it. We um, are having fruit and cereal for breakfast. So I had to go to Walmart today to pick up some cat food. And um, while I was there, I always go through the clearance section over there because you never know what you're going to find. And I, I found something that is food related that I am going to put in our storage. And it's these. So they have these Lemon Drizzle Baby Bunt Cakes, the Twinkies, um, 10 packs. They were um, on clearance for $2.03 each. So this is $6.09. And I don't have tax, so that's six oh nine dollars for those. Um, and the only thing I can find, like on this one, the date says June 24th. That's when they're Best Buy, you know, to sell. But Twinkies last forever. So I don't think I'll have a problem with these. And we go through them. I mean, we'll go through them pretty fast. And then these, um, there's like no date that I can see on them. I've been looking. Best Buy July 21st. So these haven't even hit. Yeah, not, none of these have hit their expiration date. And we will have these um, Twinkies and the bun cakes eaten before the date. And the only thing I could find on these... Um, bunt cakes was that the box had a tear. Like, that's literally, there's nothing wrong with any of these boxes. They're still perfectly sealed. They've never been opened on all of them. So, um, it pays to go into the clearance section of Walmart sometimes to find treats like this. So that $6 gets added to our food budget because it, I, this is what happens as I end up going in and getting this stuff. So anyway, yeah, that's what I found. A little mini um, clearance haul that I found at Walmart. So I just got back from running errands and I'm like an hour late for my usual lunchtime. Um, so I'm just having chicken salad on croissant, no um, lettuce this time and... I picked up a Pepsi, Wild Cherry Pepsi, when I was at Walmart. So I'm going to have probably, it has like, it says one bottle is a serving size, but that's a lot of soda. So probably about half of that. The rest will go in the fridge for maybe tomorrow or something. But yeah, this is lunch. Dinner tonight is lobster ravioli in a creamy marinara sauce that I made. And salad and homemade sourdough wheat bread that my father-in-law made. That's dinner. Good morning. It is Friday morning and this is breakfast. I'm doing um, vanilla yogurt with homemade granola on top and some watermelon and <clears throat> I'll explain that in just a moment. And then Sean once again wanted oatmeal for breakfast and watermelon. So I'll serve this with milk on the side. Um, <clears throat> this is that Good Belly that I got, the Mango Good Belly. Um, it's about two to three ounces in this glass. I've been doing um, two to three ounces before breakfast and before dinner every day um, for the last couple of days. And this is supposed to help with GERD, um, acid reflux, things like that. Just a probiotic drink to help with that and <clears throat> if you don't know what it is GERD is gastroesophageal um, reflux dis disease and everybody in my family seems to have it and I've started to develop the symptoms for the last couple of years so I thought I my mom had mentioned that this is what she does and it really helps my sister does it um, some other family members do this rather than taking medication which is really hard on your liver um, so I do this. I'm trying this to see if this works because a couple ounces before breakfast um, and before bed each day actually helps restore the um, good bacteria and flora in your gut so that you can avoid symptoms like GERD. So anyway, this is breakfast for us. It's the last breakfast of the week that I'll show you and I'll show you lunch a little later. Today is Friday. This is Sean's lunch. We have chicken nuggets. I had like two left in the bag after the four that he would normally have, so I just threw them in for him. Um, carrot sticks, um, grapes, 
This is a um, sugar cookie crunch bar, just broken up. It's a little mini um, cookie bar and Skittles. I know it, these seem crazy, but he normally does eat this stuff, so I don't care. And he is, oh, and then his bottle of water, and then he is just down here feeding the cat, who's also sitting there watching him. So that is our Friday morning. Um, no, no, we have to do the cat stuff. <laughs> That's Friday morning. So that was pretty much our week. Um, I do have some notes, and I'll go over really fast the some of the meals that were missed. Um, right now it's Sunday morning on June 5th. So um, we're, I'm kind of starting our next week. Um, so let me run through some of the things. <clears throat> Last Sunday night and Monday morning and lunchtime, um, we didn't have Sean, and when we don't have Sean, we don't do anything. It was Memorial Day weekend. Um, and then I know I missed lunch on Thursday for Sean and Friday for myself, and that was because both times I was on the phone, so I will work on getting on that. Friday dinner, um, it turned out my Ryan and Sean got invited to go to um, a baseball game for a boys' night out. So I went and had lunch, or sorry, had dinner with someone else, um, with, you know, family. Um, so it was just, we went and did our own thing. And then Saturday um, was our final weekend tutoring session. So um, it's always Saturday, it's always been Saturday morning. So we normally don't eat breakfast that day. We Well, Sean does, but... Um, then we'll normally grab something at like Starbucks or Einstein bagels, something like that while he's in tutoring. Um, so we did that. And then Saturday, yesterday's lunch, we were at a birthday party, um, for one of Sean's friends. And then dinner last night, um, because we didn't have Sean, he actually stayed with my in-laws last night. Um, we, we went and had, we grabbed ta takeout. Um, tacos for dinner and had them at home. I just didn't get it recorded. And then this morning, because we don't have Sean, um, Ryan normally doesn't eat breakfast and he did have something this morning, but we normally don't eat together or eat at the same time um, when it's just the two of us. We tend to not do those things and I'm drinking my breakfast with coffee. So, and that was our week. It was a shorter week. Um, I know I did not show you my stockpile of things. Um, I will try and do that coming up this week um, after I go grocery shopping or maybe before I do. Um, it's, <clears throat> I recorded it and this video is probably going to be over 20 minutes and I felt like that that's just a lot of time. So I didn't want to do it this time. I will try and cut down on um, other videos in the future so that we can get through them. But yeah, so... This was our week. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, again, if you did, please like it, subscribe, and hit the bell to get more from us. And I will see you in the next one. So thank you so much.